Welcome back to the vlog. I'm starting off this vlog on a Saturday morning. I've had such a nice Saturday morning. I actually ended up taking cash to the farmer's market, which we've been to before, but I've never taken cash. And he did so well, which is great. Sometimes he gets a little bit energetic and hyper around a lot of people, but it's a tiny farmer's market, so I didn't get a lot. I got some treats for him, and then I also got some raw local honey, which is something that I always try to find at the farmer's market because it's definitely good for, I believe, your allergies eating local honey, and I just think it tastes better. So picked those up, grabbed a pumpkin coffee. It's just been an ideal Saturday morning. And next up on the agenda, I'm actually meeting my mom at the mall. I don't have a ton of stuff that I'm looking for, but I am still trying to decide what I want to wear to the baby shower, so I'm gonna look for that. Also just gonna hang out with her. I think that my niece Charlotte's gonna come along too. Always love to stop into Zara, see if they have any kids stuff. And later this evening, we are meeting up with some friends. We're gonna hang out with them. So a really nice Saturday. Aiden came in and asked me if I had anything on his to-do list that I could ask him to do. And there was a big one, and that is building the crib. He's so funny, Saturday is always the day that he works on the things that I have set aside for him to do and that was a big one so we'll see if the crib gets built though i think i'll carry this vlog into monday too because we have a pretty busy monday i have a baby appointment i have a lot of errands to run so it should be a fun monday too i just finished all of the baby laundry of everything that we have so far for clothes and i feel pretty set on clothes we haven't had our baby shower yet so i imagine i might get a couple things there but i'm feeling really good having this all done um so we have like sleep sacks and then my snuggle me cover towels socks and mittens and everything there but i also have a few more things drying and then over here these are all the things that need to be hung up i did run out of hangers though so i need to order some more so some things in here do need to be hung up i must say that doing baby laundry is so much better than doing laundry for adults it's <laughs> so fun especially this little one for christmas although this looks huge i think that this is probably gonna be too big for him for christmas but you know it might be a cute little oversized look all these are just so precious and impractical with all the buttons but you know gotta do what you gotta do most of these are for when he's a little bit older too i don't have a ton of cute newborn outfits quite a few for the older days i'm about to go ahead and change but i wanted to share that i wear this exercise dress basically every single day when i walk cash this one's from Halara. I've had this for years. It's my favorite one, and I recently just got it in a size up. This is a size medium as I'm growing. They have my most favorite exercise dresses, especially these days. These have been so comfortable. I'm so thankful to be partnering with Halara on today's video. And before I share a try-on haul, I do want to mention that I have a code. You can use the code MICHELLE1, and that will get you 20% off your order. Reasons why I love these. One, they are very thick. They're very nice, comfortable material. I like that they're not that thin kind of dry fit material they're just so comfortable they have a ton of different styles that i will share they have so many different color options and they are so so comfortable i wore these pre-pregnancy and now being pregnant and postpartum i know i'm going to be wearing them a lot and so the one i'm wearing right now is the easy peasy dress this one's incredible for one because it has shorts underneath that you can actually just remove when you go to the bathroom instead of taking the entire dress off which these days is really important and so i love that feature i love that they have a side pocket on them and everything that i'm showing you guys i'm wearing a medium i was a small pre-pregnancy but i will probably still fit into a medium too i think that i could go between sizes this one is their ballet style this is so cute i'm especially excited to wear this after pregnancy but it has the most beautiful neckline on it and then on the back it has this open back i love this blue color on it and then it just swings down into the most flattering dress i think that halara exercise dresses are the most flattering this one is their two-in-one flare i love the color of this one this olive green i think is just super flattering again you just get that really thick comfortable material which i really really enjoy this is one that i've tried recently i thought that this would actually be super cute being pregnant this one is a midi style dress and it has a slit in it it, which is super flattering i really like this color again it has a nice tie back and you can adjust it which is great i think that the medium fits me really great during pregnancy right now i'd probably be a small normally and then these tops i got more so for after pregnancy but they are these long sleeve crop tops kind of hard to show on the camera but i'll show in the try on has a built-in sports bra and i thought that these would actually be super comfortable for working out in the winter time having those long sleeves 
I really like the cream too. I think that it's such a beautiful color. I also got this one in black too. Black is probably my favorite to work out in. I find it to be the most flattering. So definitely wanted to have a black top too. Again, I'll have all these pieces linked down below if you want to shop them individually and you can use my code Michelle one that will get you 20% off your order. Such a fan. You guys know I wear this dress in so many of my vlogs. They're the best. out of the mall i met two girls while i was here claire and morgan who watched my videos so i just wanted to say hey because that really did make my day and what also made my day is that my mom just gave me some clothes that she got from baby boy i think she got these in maine i'm pretty sure but they're so cute i just looked through them this one i love it it says new sheriff in town cutest little onesie oh i didn't get anything at the mall either which is fine it was more so just wanted to hang with everyone this one's so sweet it's got a little bear on it it says hugs oh this one is so cute this onesie it's like super fuzzy and then i love all the chunky sweaters look at this turtleneck so sweet always have to share the baby clothes because it's so much fun but i'm gonna go ahead and head home and probably lay down for a little bit because we walked a lot while we were here and that was definitely my workout for the day. I did want to share a different purchase that I made earlier though that I've been waiting to open because these slippers I really wanted last year but they sold out and I saw a lot of people sharing that they're in stock right now if you want them for fall and so I made this purchase. This is the only kind of fall related purchase I'm going to make for myself because I just think that these are so cute. They are the UGG Tasman slippers. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. And I got the platform ones and they are so, so cute. I thought that these would be really nice to have postpartum and even in the hospital, these just seem like they would be so comfortable for walking around. And so I cannot wait to style these and wear them. I'll link these down below. I'm not sure if they're still in stock. I'm sure they are right now, but I just think that they're so cute. And I've always wanted these. I think that they're so much fun to style with different outfits, but yeah, cannot wait to wear these. <music> coffee and essentially I just used whipped cream and it kind of gives the same effect as cold foam. I see Brooke Michio do this a lot so every now and then I do it and it's really really good. Having a bit of a slow Sunday morning we have a couple hours before church and so I'm gonna make some date bowls. These are something that I've been trying to eat a lot lately just to start eating dates more for labor and delivery and they also just taste really good even if you're just interested in making them. I'll have the recipe down below. It's pretty simple but just gonna have a nice little leisurely morning. I also had a nail pop off last night which is always unfortunate so I'm gonna have to get that fixed next week sometime but that's bothering me. Since I'm already in here, I have these bananas that I need to use. These ones might be even too far gone, but I'm gonna make some banana bread and I'm gonna try to do a cinnamon roll style banana bread. There's a specific recipe that I saw from Cass on Instagram, but I'm gonna use the one that I normally use and just use the cinnamon roll filling part of it. And we're gonna see how it works, but I've been craving banana bread lately, so let's do it. To Shit. 
I just took the bread out of the oven and it looks so good. I'm so excited to try this when we get back from church, but it turned out so nice. And our whole kitchen just smells so good right now because of the cinnamon. Cannot wait to try this. church. I'm going to try our banana bread. Cash wants some too. The recipe did have a cream cheese frosting that I actually think would be really good on it. I thought it might be a little bit too much, but I feel like that would have added a nice touch, but it was very good. Just changed. It's so nice having just a chill Sunday today. I am about to do some meal prepping, not meal prepping, meal planning for the week. And I'm going to go grab some groceries and then come home. And I think I'm going to get ahead on some work. I don't typically work on Sundays, but I do sometimes like to respond to emails, especially if I have things Monday morning and I know I'm not going to be on my laptop. Tomorrow morning is going to be pretty busy. And so I want to try to get as much work done as I can. And then probably just make something simple for dinner tonight. Nothing too involved. Hanging out with Mr. Casher here and Aiden is actually building the crib right now. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. I think I'm going to put together a little reel if you want to follow me on Instagram. After that is done, I'm going to have a lot more nursery content coming because that's kind of the fixture that I want to have done. And then once I see the placement of that, I'll be able to start hanging stuff and doing shelves, doing the changing table, organizing everything. And yeah, I'm really, really excited for that. Yesterday I got a DM that asked me why I treat my dog like a human. This is why I treat my dog like a human. He is literally a person. I was talking about how he was my first baby, which <laughs> prompted that, but he is literally a baby. Look at this dog. I love you. I love you. On the way to the grocery store, I decided to stop by a new antique mall that I've never been to. I'm trying to find, this is very specific, but I really want to find something that's a cross stitch design for his room something to put on a little gallery wall that i'm working on i've never tried this one so we're gonna try to go in here i just saw a woman try to open the door though and it might be closed but it says they're open so we'll see turns out they were closed they actually had a sign on the door that said they were closing early because of extreme heat and i feel them because i'm sure if you follow anyone in texas you know that we have been talking about how hot it is here because it has been 100 degrees 100 degrees plus for a couple of months now and normally we have a couple of days like that a few days here and there but it's not for that long period of time and i just miss doing stuff outside spending time in nature i feel like my vlogs lately have been me just <laughs> inside so much because it is so hard to do anything outside right now and I just miss it so much. I miss being out in nature. I wish we could just go for a hike or do something like that. It's so nice too because spending time in nature is free and a lot of times when we're trying to come up with things to do, everything is inside and AC and you end up spending money. And I'm just frustrated. I don't want to complain but it really is just... Oh. I'm just so tired of it at this point. And the thing is, it's going to be like this for the next bit. It doesn't really cool off until typically, I would say October a little bit, November even. And yeah, I know I will be thankful in the winter time and I'll appreciate it then. But right now it has just been soul sucking. So I'm going to go get these groceries. My doctor told me that. And I don't know if this is still true. This was a while ago, but she said that women in texas had some of the lowest vitamin d levels because you would think that the sun is so strong here you are getting plenty of vitamin d but you just spend so much time indoors because it's so hot let's go ahead and get these groceries thanks for getting his food what thanks for getting his food i got the big one Really? Oh, he's over here acting like he hasn't got anything. 
Again, I wanted to do a grocery haul because I didn't get anything that exciting, just the normal stuff. I did pick up this Chobani coffee creamer. I love their coffee creamers, but I've never had the pumpkin spice one. So I'm excited to try this. It's like five o'clock right now, so I'm not gonna try it now, but definitely gonna try this in the morning and I'll let you guys know. some work done right now but this is crazy because we have not had any rain for probably the last month or so and i noticed that it's looking very gloomy and cloudy which is amazing and i think we're about to get a storm hopefully it doesn't pass over where we're at but if it does end up raining you better believe i'm about to head outside and dance in the rain because that is crazy it hasn't rained in so long Having one of our favorite dinners tonight. We've probably had this 10 times at this point. It's the sticky apricot chicken from Half Baked Harvest. It's amazing and yeah, it's always a good too. I'm about to read in bed, but I had to share a little bump update. I'm 29 weeks when I'm recording this and it's just crazy. We are growing a lot these days. It also is feeling just a lot more firm these days, which is fun, but definitely feeling very, very pregnant at this point. Happy Monday. I wanted to show that the verdict on the creamer is I really, really like it. I love these Chobani creamers. I think that they're so good. And I also like that they don't have anything crazy in them. Like this is just milk, cream, cane sugar. It does say natural flavors, which can be a little bit questionable, but for the most part, not anything crazy. I'm actually trying to shoot a little bit of a reel before we head to my appointment this morning, which is at 10 o'clock. And so that is what I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna try to walk cash before and then get that done early in the morning. Aiden and I are back from our appointment. He is working from home today. He usually tries to work from home so he can go with me, but all went well. Got to hear baby's heartbeat, had a measurement done too. I was also asking about his positioning and he's head down right now, which I know he could still move at this point, but we would love if he would stay head down. So it was nice to hear that. Did have to get some blood drawn, which I wasn't expecting, but I don't really mind that at all. So it wasn't a big deal but always love when everything looks healthy and good and but i'm gonna go ahead and get some work done i'm working on some stuff on my laptop not really feeling like sitting at my desk these days and so i'm just sitting here with mr Casher, who always appreciates when i sit here because he just sits and keeps me company the whole time we got some packages I'm not too sure what these are these days i've had a lot of stuff coming in just as we for one, I've had a couple of registry things come in, so I don't wanna open up those, but I think these are things that I've ordered. I have just been working on my laptop all day. It's been such a boring day. I am trying to really just share a lot, a lot of videos and content across all platforms in September. I want September to be just a really productive work month. And so I have been trying to get ahead and make sure that I have things planned. And as we get into October, November, I am imagining that I'm gonna be slowing down a little bit. So I'm just trying to kind of bump it all out right now but let's do a little unboxing this i have no idea where this is from oh just my little lamp i ordered this little lamp for the nursery forever ago and it is so small i knew it was going to be small but oh my goodness this is a tiny tiny lamp it might actually be cute though i was going to put this in the nursery somewhere cash always has to inspect too like that oh that is not right Hmm. gonna have to figure this out but essentially it's a tiny lamp i'll try to insert a photo on the screen but i got this for the nursery so we'll stick that in there and then we also have an amazon order anyone else's dog have to unbox everything with them <laughs> i don't know what it is deal is but okay oh nice sweet okay 
I got some more floating shelves for the nursery because I have a few of these, but there are two different walls that I wanna use these on. And so I got another set. These are cute, they're scallop. I'll put a photo on the screen right here. Also all the Amazon stuff I've been buying for the nursery, I have been putting on my storefront if you guys wanna check it out there. And also sorry, this vlog has been a lot, a lot of unboxings. Again, there's just a lot of stuff coming in as we finish everything. Not all vlogs will be like this. I also got some more hangers to hang up his clothes because I ran out and these I think are really nice. They're just these nice little wood ones. Just notice cash in the background. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put together my new leaks. I need to return that today, the clothing rental that I use. I think I'm gonna go to the gym. I don't really want to. I don't love working out in the evenings, but I just haven't done too much today. And so I definitely wanna get out, get a sweat in. Eden is grilling us dinner tonight. I don't need to be home to make dinner. So we're gonna do an evening workout tonight. I figured it out. I watched a lot of videos, but it is so cute, so tiny. I actually got this for a little side table that i'm gonna put next to our glider when we get it but for now it did ship from south korea so it did take a little bit long to get here but she is super adorable i got a little distracted and i realized that ups closed at six and i made it here just at six dropped off my newly and now i am headed to the gym and it's crazy right now it's about 93 degrees but it feels like a brisk fall day because it's been so hot here lately so hopefully aiden and i can go for a nice long walk tonight because we just haven't really been doing evening walks because it's been so hot he takes cash for a little walk at night, but I don't normally go because it's just too, too much. Also, gone are the days of my cute workout outfits. I have been wearing big t-shirts and biker shorts because I just don't know what to wear to the gym these days. And I do miss feeling cute at the gym, but it's about getting a sweat on, which is what we're gonna do. just got into bed we just had dinner and Aiden is playing a game with his friends right now and so I wanted to share a little pillow talk chat I feel like I haven't shared a faith chat in a while and I really liked the passage from my devotional this morning this one is from my utmost for his highest by Oswald Chambers I love 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 this devotional I think it's incredible I also really like new morning mercies you guys know that I really really love this devotional I think either of these if you're just getting into wanting to learn more about faith wanting to have some sort of devotional to read in the morning I think that both of these are great but I really liked mine from today because it gave me a different perspective on prayer that I just personally haven't really heard before and I'll probably be gasping for air as I'm reading this <laughs> because it's kind of long but it says the purpose of prayer. Prayer is not a normal part of life of the natural man. We hear it say that a person's life will suffer if he doesn't pray, but I question that. What will suffer is the life of the Son of God in him, which is nourished not by food, but by prayer. When a person is born again from above, the life of the Son of God is born in him, and he can either starve or nourish that life. Prayer is the way that the life of God in us is nourished. Our common ideas regarding prayer are not found in the New Testament. We look upon prayer simply as a means of getting things for ourselves with a biblical purpose is that we may get to know God himself. Ask and you will receive. John 16, 24. We complain before God and sometimes we are apologetic or indifferent to him, but we actually ask him for very few things. Yet a child exhibits a magnificent boldness to ask. Our Lord said, unless you become as little children. Skipping over some of it, but it says, to say that prayer changes things is not as close to the truth as saying prayer changes me and then I change things. God has established things so that prayer on the basis of redemption changes the way a person looks at things. Prayer is not a matter of changing things externally, but one of working miracles in a person's inner nature. That perspective just really stuck with me because I would say a few years ago when I would pray for things, I would pray very very specifically which I don't think is a bad thing I think you know presenting your wants and your needs and your desires to God is so important in the last year it really has shifted more to me asking God to change my heart on certain situations or shape my heart regarding certain things when wanting direction when wanting clarity in a situation I just wanted to share that if you're in a season of life I know a lot of you guys watching this are in college you're applying for jobs you're starting families you're getting married you're thinking about getting married all these kind of big life decisions you're wanting to move these things can be really overwhelming things that we deal with in our 20s 
30s, 40s for the rest of our lives. And I think that there's so much power in prayer. When I was younger, I would always want just this very definitive sign of this is the right thing to do. And sometimes I think that that is how God works. But I think a lot of times, like this excerpt says, a lot of it is just changing your heart and your posture and you will know if something is the right or wrong decision based off of the way that you're viewing it if that makes sense sometimes i will just be doing my devotionals day in day out and never really feeling super inspired or never feeling super on fire but sometimes it's just once a month that you feel that and that's why it's important to make it a habit but I love you guys. I'm so thankful for you guys. So thankful for you guys being here. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I am obviously very tired. I did not sleep very great last time. So I will also have those Halara links to those exercise dresses down below. If you guys want to check them out, you can use my code Michelle1 for a discount off your order. I love you guys and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.